Hi folks, Aaron here from Aaron's Practical Reviews. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I cut my own hair. And I've been doing this for 25 years. I've been cutting my own hair for 25 years. My grandfather was a barber in the Navy. So I'm just gonna show you how I do it and give you some tips and pointers. So here, I let it grow out a little bit longer than uh, normally I would just to make this video. So before we get started, let's go over a couple things you need. First, you need clippers. Now, these are the clippers I use. As you can see, they have this head that's adjustable so I can fine tune my cuts. And they have these guards, which are different sizes. And I only use about five of these guards. And uh, I, have a, I have it down to a science. I've been doing it, like I said, for 25 years. So it's very easy for me to. Now, before we get started, the first thing you have to do is prep your hair. Okay, so as you can see right now, I have basically bed head, a hat lines, all that, and all that needs to go. I need to wet it down or wash it, get rid of all that, and then I need to, to part it and have it prepped the way that I want it to be after it's cut with no product. Do not put any product in your hair before you do this. Just water and then make sure it's dry so you don't bind up the clippers. Okay, so here is my hair now that it's prepped. As you can see, it looks ridiculous. It's a uh... So after your hair is prepped and dried, then we're gonna go into the bathroom area. So we're gonna start here with the two. And basically, I hope I have this lit right. But anyways, I'm gonna start with the two and I'm gonna start on the sides and go up the sides to about here and then I'll trim the rest in. You can start with the top or the sides. I always start with the sides. I start it all the way up. So I'm gonna raise this to all the way up and I'm just gonna kind of start here going around the sides like so and I normally do this in my underwear so I'm wearing my shirt and stuff this is going to get itchy so we're just going to go up along the sides and I'm not going too far up I'm only going up about to where my hairline is because I'm going to blend this in with some of the longer guards, like a four or a three, because I'm only using the two for now. So, we're gonna go along here, go up the back. And this is just kind of a base, just kind of get, and I'll work off, I will work off of this. So here I'm just pulling my hair over and kind of getting this side section. I know, it's, it's so hard to film in a, bathroom but whatever so I'm gonna keep going up and basically here I'm literally just getting setting a base to which I'm gonna work off and then I'm gonna trim around what I'm doing right now and like I said this is starting with the two guard I'm gonna do this all the way around now I'm gonna take the mirror and we're gonna do the back and here I'm literally just going like this and going up and I'm not going up too high here either I'm just kind of taking it up which I'll show you so I'm taking it up to about there not too high because I want to blend this in up top because I'm going to leave it a little bit longer so we're just gonna run it up get a nice line across there and then I'm going to blend that in and if I need to make changes it's no big deal just going right back to the two and you can't see my feet but I do this on one leg <laughs> leaning backwards <laughs> you gotta be a bit of a contortionist I don't know how much longer I'll be able to do this I'm almost 50 when I'm 60 I'm probably going to a barber <laughs> And then I'll have to come home and fix their mess ups. Okay, so like I said, I usually do this with no shirt on. So this is really weird. And then I'll take my little brush that comes with it and I brush that off. Normally it brushes right off because I don't have a shirt on. Oh wow, that gets everywhere like that. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna do a little clean up here as I go. You can't see what I'm doing here, but I'm cleaning up the Clean there, clean up that as I go. Okay, so as you can see here, I've kind of trimmed around the edges there. Now I'm going to do the top, and then after I do the top, then I'm going to blend in the, the difference between here and what I'm going to cut on the top. And on the top, I'm going to start 
I don't see the five. So I'm gonna start with a seven, which is seven eighths for my length. And I'm gonna leave that guard long. Now this is important here. Again, this is, I'm gonna go with the grain here. I'm gonna go with, so here, I'm going with or the grain, meaning with the part. So it, my hair, as you can see, comes up and goes back. So that's the path I'm gonna take this down. And I'm gonna keep it up on my, I'm gonna keep it up on my my head like so. Okay, I'm gonna, so watch. As I go, I'm gonna keep it up like this and then kind of turn it in because I don't want this top portion to be shorter than the back. Or I'm sorry, yeah, I want the top to be longer than the back. So I'm gonna kind of go like this, you'll see. So here I'm gonna keep it angled and then kind of just let it cut and go. And as you can see, that's the amount of hair it cut out. So I don't want to cut the top too short or else I can't part it back like that. Or feather it or whatever you want to call it. Now this is barely doing anything, so I'm gonna to to take this down a little. But I do like having the front longer like that. It's just too long right now. And again, that angle makes a big difference. If you if you angle that wrong, or if you come in at the wrong angle, if you come in opposite direction, you're gonna you're gonna cut all your hair off up there to this length. So you want to make sure you're angling this properly to start, keeping it up high, and then kind of keeping it up high, and then kind of going down onto your your scalp as you go back, and that'll just. Be, let you keep the front longer but staying with the contour of your head and it'll keep your hair looking nice and square so you don't run into that problem where you have a big chunk off the front of it and I'm just gonna do this for a minute and until I get it nice all right so now I'm gonna take this a little bit back like I said, it's it's important to me not to get the front too short here. All right, I'm going to come up the back and just take all that right off. The way my hair lies, I can come up the back like so and not worry about it. In the sides, I want these. Yep. So the sides here, and again, because I'm going against the grain here, it's cutting it, here I'm going against the grain, and it's cutting it much shorter than if I would go with the grain up top. That's very important when you're cutting your hair, is to remember the way your hair is lying while you're cutting it is gonna make a big difference on the length that it actually gets cut. So if you go with the grain, it's not going to cut it as much, but if you go against the grain, meaning against the part, the way it's lying, you're going to cut the heck out. It's going to be cut to the length of what you're actually using. All right, so that's better. I still want to take a little more off. So I want to take a little more off. So now is when I will slightly turn that. Actually, screw it. I'm going to put it all the way down. Now I'm going to put that all the way down. And that's going to take off a little bit more because I do want a little bit more off the top. So. And this, that's just kind of fine tuning how much you're taking off. I'm not taking off a lot more because I still want to be able to, for it to kind of lay back like that. And the sides, I'll take a little more off the sides here. Okay, let's do the same thing over here. And I'm doing this because I don't want this front part here to get cut. Because this is what I'm going to use to kind of put the product in and move it back so it kind of has that slicked over look. And then sometimes I will buzz it and just have it like the pointed, you know, the point look. Just depends what you're going with. So this is how I'm doing it right now. And uh, just kind of going around. All right. So that's good there. Now this is where we're at now with that. Okay, and again, this is where we're at. And again, I don't want to take too much off of here. What I'm trying to do now is just clean up the sides and blend it. 
But first I had to take off a little bit on the side here and then take off the top. Now I'm gonna go with something in the middle, which is gonna be, I'm gonna go with the four. That was a seven, now I'm gonna go with the four. This is the half inch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna extend this all the way up and now I'm gonna kinda go and blend that, the two with the seven in here. And I'm gonna do it with the four and then make adjustments as needed. So there, now I'm gonna come over here and just kinda blend it. And again, this is, everybody's hair is different. So what I'm doing right now, exactly what I'm doing might not work for you, but you can kind of see how I'm doing it. I'm hitting my elbow on this damn thing. <laughs> this is my kid's bathroom. I'll let them tear it up. But it's good for cutting hair. All right, so now I'm basically just blending it in. And that looks pretty good. I can still see some lines, which I'll get to, and I'll fix that here in a minute. So as you can see, now maybe I've blended this section here quite a bit, but it's definitely not done. It's not where I want it. That's just kind of a rough point. Now I'm going to take it down. Okay, now I'm going to put this back down, minimize it, and I'm going to do it again just around the very edge where the two didn't meet. Just kind of blended that little bit more right in there. And since I put product in my hair, a lot of this stuff will actually, if I, if I do make minor mistakes here, the product will cover that, or you won't even notice it. And if you do, oh well. Don't make major mistakes. <laughs> All right. So there's that. And I'm periodically cleaning this as we go and cleaning my back normally that does not have a shirt on it. God, I hate wearing shirts. I cut my hair. Okay. So that's where we're at now. We got that much done. Okay. Now I'll touch that up when I'm after I'm done with this next part, which is going to be, I'm going to go with the one. Now this is actually one eighth. And this is important for me. I keep this all the way up. I don't come down with the one. If you come down, if you make that like uh, at the lowest guard possible, it will basically almost, you're almost ball. I mean, it's short. It's That is extremely short. So what I'm going to do is just leave it up here and I'm going to use that around the sides to give that nice cleaned off look and I'm going to do it around the back. And then from there, that'll be done. And then the rest of what I do is just going to be blending it up and in to the top and making some tweaks to the top if necessary. Again, you know, a lot of this just depends on your style of hair and everybody's hair is different. So, all right, so let's go to doing this. Now here you have, this is where you have to be really careful because if you go up too high, this is where you'll start to see those really noticeable lines. So those noticeable lines will show up if you go up too high on the, with this. And this is where you have to, when you get up close here, you want to turn. So you're turning this kind of as you can see here, you're kind of rotating it in and that rotation is what's going to blend it when you get up towards the line. So I'll show you here. So the motion I'm using here is up and in the whole time. And what that'll do is it'll blend it and then just lean it back a little like, okay, you're going here at the bottom. Just lean it back a little to get it a little longer. Let's see, get it there. So you're gonna go flush right on the sides and then towards the top, kind of lean it a little. And that's how you, so you can use this up quite a bit. Just be careful because if you, 
if you don't angle it properly, you will see a, a really noticeable line, which I'll still have a little bit of a line, but I'm fine with that because in like a day or two, it grows in and then it looks really nice for a couple weeks. So I sacrificed the initial couple days having a small line for the next couple weeks looking really nice and being short. So let's finish that up. And I'm gonna come around the back here. And this always creates a line coming around that I have to fix. But it's okay because I know it's gonna be there. Okay. So here's where I'm really angling it. Because I'm definitely gonna have a line here, like I said, that I'm gonna have to iron out here in a minute. And now it's just it's a question of how high I want to take this. Let's go up at least to the temple. Now I'm gonna do the other side the same way, and then I'll do the back. So the hardest part about all this honestly is the blending blending in the lower section to the top section seamlessly and not having a, an obvious line. Which, like I said, that is definitely the hardest part of this. You don't want to have that bowl like cut or have it look like you have a literally a line around your head. And that's what takes the, the nuance. Now here, I, this is the only section I'll do left-handed. I've just, like I said, I've been doing it for so long, it's, it's just natural to me. But it's also, it's natural right here. Once I get to the back, it becomes very unnatural when I get in it, when I use the mirror with my left hand. All right, so let's come up here. That's not horrible. Is that, yeah, that's good. And like I said, I'm gonna have some tweaking to do on the sides here especially, and a little bit in the back. So now we're gonna do the back. And here you may have to go different angles based on how your hair lies. So mine has kind of grows in a couple different directions back here and since I'm going shorter with it I have to actually come at it a couple different angles. And this whole time I'm I'm twisting and turning this thing so see now I got that but now I have to come across I have to come across and down here because of the way that it grows so no big deal just kind of go across and then down here a couple spots because it grows in that way so anytime you're cutting your hair I've noticed to cut it shorter in spots you gotta go against the grain Pretty makes sense. Okay, so I see definite lines on that side and lines on that side, but they're in the same spot, so I'm happy with that. I don't know if you can see it. If you can see the lines here, I know the lighting in here is something else, but so those lines I've got to address. But I that's good. I want them there and I want them even on each side, which is they are even enough. Get the hair off. Okay. So now, to even out those lines, what we have to do is go with the three and the four again. Now I'm going to go with the three and kind of blend, do a kind of a, a blend all the way around here, a little bit better into the top, and then I'm going to blend it in with the two, but. I have to make, I have to blend the top to the bottom now. And the way I'm going to do that is I don't want to cut a lot off the top, so I want to find that part line and pull it over and kind of blend that in a little bit better right there. Let's see, that's better. Now I definitely see lines in here, they're right now which again, I will address as we go. That's what this is doing. It's kind of 
it's a slow process to get to. Sometimes it works out perfect and the lines aren't there. It depends on how long you want to keep your hair. But like the way I'm cutting it right now, uh, it's going to be more difficult because I want the top longer than normal, than I normally keep it. Because I'm kind of trying this new look to be more mature, <laughs> Part, parting it over. Okay, so that's where that's how it looks now, as you can see there. And it will look a lot different here in a minute, especially once I shower and put product in it. So now for the back, let's kind of do a, the global blend there. Okay, keep it going. Okay, that looks good. All right, now we've got to address the, the sides here where it just looks all jacked up. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the two. Back to the two, and I'm going to blend in this lower section, and then I'm going to go with the four, blend in the top section, and pretty much that's it. Then just clean up around here with the little trimming tool that I showed you earlier, and then I'll have my wife actually do the around here. I used to do around the back here, but I don't anymore because my wife does it, and uh, that's the only thing I don't do. All right, so now we're going to work on this blend here. Okay, now we're going to take it down. Now when I get to the top, I'm going I'm going out again like so. I don't want to go up too far into that, but I want to take that over. And I can leave it out so it looks a little bit, like right now when it's dry, almost done here. So now, I'm just going to go again with the four. Make it as long as possible. I'm going to blend in just up here just a little bit more. And then I think we're good. So. Here I'm just kind of getting those stragglers and I'm, as you can see, I'm pulling my part over for this blend because I don't want to like clip part of some of my part and then have this, this hair short and look all funky in here. So the, I keep it like that just so I can take it over and as you can see here, this keeps a nice kind of a walled effect and it just looks, you know, clean. And with the sides being shorter, this looks nice and clean. Now there's, like I said, there still will be some lines because just the way I do it, I don't know. I think no matter what, if you're going to have, if you're going to go from long to short, there's going to be some form of, you know, lineage or lines or something like that, especially the way I do it. Okay. Now that side, I'm going to let, leave that a little longer and I'm going to just, uh, take this little guy, like I showed you. Um, I, you don't need this. You can use the clippers. I use this. These are like eight bucks on Amazon. And I just kind of go around the ears and trim that. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Trim. Okay. Now I'm almost done, but I have to do a quick check. Let me see. Okay, I can see a little bit of lines there, but that's not horrible. Uh, a lot of that will go away. Let's see. Uh, let's see over here. This is this is quite a line right here. But the thing is, yeah, I'm gonna blend that more right there. So found a found a problem spot. I'm gonna go and take the seven here, put it all the way down, come back and kind of get that a little bit shorter there. See if we can get that to blend a little better. Oh yeah, that I missed. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. All right, let's see. There we go. Looking a lot better back there. Okay. So. 
that's about it right there. Um, let me see, anything on the sides? Oh, nope. Got one more little section here I need to fix. I see on this side with the one. You know what I'm seeing? <laughs> my hat line. I didn't do a, a good enough job with my hat line. So what it's doing is it's pushing those hairs down and as I cut over them, they're, I'm missing some of them because the, the hat compresses the hair and they're popping up. So now I gotta go through and kind of fix that a little bit right along my hat line. That's why it's important to fix that. Otherwise you will see like, you'll have a line where your hat was and it, eh, it's just a nuisance. I'm going to kind of fine, go up this very finely. Okay, let's see there. I know it's hard to see over here because I'm on this side, but I don't, I can't put the camera on the other side. Alright, so let's see, how's that look? Ah, I still see some. I'm going to take that up higher, I don't care. Yeah. Okay, now just real quick. Anytime I use the, the one guard, I go back to the two guard all the way down and kind of just make sure it's kind of a nice blend. Yep. Alright, I think that's it. Let's see. Damn good. Looking good. Now, so, there we go. Now it's dry. I need to shower. And that's it. So, as you can see, it is cut. Now I'm going to shower, put some product in it, and make it all come together and look halfway respectable. <laughs> Next step. Okay, so now I've cut it and um, had my wife trim the back here. Like I said, I used to trim it, but she trims it for me now. It's the only thing I don't do by myself. I could. Now, it still looks a little puffy, but I cut it with the fact knowing what I'm going to do to it after I shower and everything. So now I'm going to go shower and get all this hair off of me. And then I'll show you what it looks like the final, what the final uh, results look like. Okay. So this is the final result of cutting my own hair. Uh, like I said, I've been doing it for 25 years. This probably, I probably took it a little shorter than I wanted to in a couple spots because I'm trying to talk and film and do all this. But I think the key here is the prep, get it the way you want it to look afterwards and then cut it, basically just take it and trim it down get the sides and blend it as good as the best you can. And then obviously cut it based on how you're going to, if you're going to use product, leave it a little longer and just things like that, which you will learn the more you do it. And you'll see some, sometimes you'll cut your own hair and you're like, wow, this is the best haircut I've ever had. Other times you'll cut it and you're like, eh. <laughs> probably could have left a little bit more here or took it a little off here. Whatever, and then a couple of weeks, try it again. I mean, the, the amount of money you save over the course of your life is quite a bit if you think about it. But anyways, that's how you cut your own hair. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and uh, have a fantastic day.